Having a tiny rental or decorating your first home, making design decisions can be a bit stressful, and keeping them affordable is too. But help us here with home decor YouTuber Alexandra Gator. In real life, because it's been so long. Welcome back. It's Thank so you. good to Thanks see for you. Having me. It's so good to see you too. You have been so busy <laughs> since we last met. It has been a while. Yeah. So tell me a little bit about what you've been up to on YouTube and otherwise. Yeah, so I've just been doing small space makeovers over on YouTube, growing the channel, going into like tons of people's spaces to make them over. It's been so exciting. And I've also just wrote a book. She I wrote a book! <laughs> That's very cool. Thanks. Own Your Space. It's called Own Your Space, yeah. and I really wanted to bridge this gap between coffee table books and handbooks. Yes. I don't know about you, but whenever I open a coffee table book, I'm like, this is so beautiful, but <laughs> yeah. how did these spaces come to be? Right. And so Own Your Space is really trying to bridge that gap, and I really hope that when people open it, they feel empowered to actually create the spaces in them and make their own space beautiful. Mm -hmm. It's divided into three sections, so planning, decorating, and real rooms. and. Real Rooms at the end is really about like how to make a space come to life. All the different mm -hmm. elements that went into the spaces that are in this book. Yeah. Just all those things that feel so intimidating when it comes to decorating your space for renters, but also for homeowners too. See, what I like about this is that you're not about gatekeeping the info. <laughs> so you do this for people, you go yeah. into their spaces, but you're also saying, no, you can do it too. Exactly. I'm going to show you how to do it, and I love that. Thanks, Tracy. <laughs> so you're going to share some tips for, like, anyone, uh, no matter what the size of their space is. But if you want to have that decor-looking and magazine-looking space... Yeah. You say the first tip is to cozy up with your cushions. Yes, and accessories just in general are just yeah. such a great way to change up the look and feel of your space easily and on a budget. So I thought we could decorate this sofa together. Let's do it. There's there's a formula. Okay. I don't know if you know, but there's there's a formula. Is there math though, Alexandra? <laughs> like, please no, no math. I, I don't do math, so, okay, good. so you're in the right place. But fantastic. Um, in my book, I also break down like the exact formulas that I use. Yeah. But I wanted to share one with you today. So okay. this is for like a three cedar sofa. Okay. I like to start with two neutral cushions. Texture, bonus points. Mm -hmm. um, and you'll also notice that these are different sizes. Yeah. So you don't want to have similar sizes. You want it to be varying sizes and heights. So, so mix it up. Yeah. So mix it up. So you'll see that one's neutral, but it still has pattern and texture. texture. Yes. Okay. I don't have any cushions left, so you got you gotta I got do the heavy lifting. <laughs> you want that one? Yeah. Catch. So um, I, my next cushion is going to be a smaller square one yep. with a pattern. Lumbar cushions are great because they fill space. Yeah. Oh, and you have one last one. So this is my favorite yeah. because <laughs> boom, it's fun. It's I was really hoping I was going to catch that. <laughs> you did. Um, so yeah, when you're shopping, just making sure that you're getting different sizes, um, different shapes, yeah. and that's how you make it look intentional but still very casual. Yes. And another tip is to weave in similar tones or colors. So none of these cushions are the same, yeah. but they all really work together. I love that. And these are the tips we need to know because if you come up with sort of a matching set of pillows now, it looks like 1991 called. It does. Right? So you kind of, if you want to be sort of now and current and have some fun and make it look casual, yeah. but done and sophisticated, you mix them all up. Exactly. Very cool. Okay, so we've talked about cushions. I want to talk about art a little bit. Yes. So people think about art and they think, oh my goodness, I have to like spend a mortgage payment on finding incredible pieces of art. You say yeah. not so much. I say not so much. I actually brought in a photo to show you. Um, this gallery wall I created with all things I found around my house. Beautiful. And I really wanted to try and challenge myself, like, could I actually just not use art and use other things that maybe looked like art? Yes. So I brought some things to show you today. Um, everything from like wallpaper samples. Those are my favorite. You can so get those gorgeous. for free or you can order them online. They look like illustrations. Yeah. So fun. Very nice. Tea towels. Well, th that's a nice tea towel, my friend. <laughs> look at that. But anything with texture yeah. and color and pattern. Mm -hmm. And I say like, don't iron it. Like leave the creases, make it feel nice and organic. Yeah. I love you for saying that. <laughs> don't it iron. But it doesn't have to be perfect, you know? And no. like, that's the trick. Yeah. Um, You're living in the, your space. Exactly. So it's allowed to look lived in. And I feel like going this route, it makes it more personal. Like yeah. my partner leaves me little post-it notes around the house sometimes. You better keep that. Well, I have. Partner. I have. <laughs> Love you so much. That's so sweet. I have like a fridge full of these. Yeah. Like, because when the kids, when my teenagers actually write me back, 
I keep them. Print so out this, the text messages, yes. frame them. <laughs> so this is a great idea to frame and up, frame up and in a, the home. A trick too is like if you have a large frame lying around, you yeah. can get custom mats and you can make it the size of a post-it note or a dishcloth or a tea towel. Yeah. And so you don't have to go out and buy, you know, custom frames, which totally. is great. That's amazing. Um, dishcloths. These are beautiful. So Here, beautiful. take those okay. and I'll, I'll hold up these ones. But look at how gorgeous those are. Those are dishcloths. I know. Really I environmentally know. friendly now too. Yeah, and you can frame them. Why you not? Frame them. Why six, not? They're like six dollars. Like really, and I had them in my kitchen cabinet. So oh, that's so good. Affirmation cards. I feel like affirmation cards are so you know big right now, but yeah, framing beautiful. some really nice ones that just make you feel good. So Greeting good. cards that you don't want to throw out. Yeah. You feel weird that your mom like wrote you, you know, and you're like, I don't want to throw this out. So why not <laughs> frame it? Um, and the key is again similar to the cushions, weaving in those similar colors, patterns, yeah. and making it just feel personal and eclectic. Um, yeah, it really is. Because it's your house. It should reflect you. Exactly. Okay, so you say upgrading small things can make a huge difference. Let's just talk quickly about the hardware options out there before we talk a little bit more about your book. But look, if you like kitty cats like Alexander likes kitty cats, you can have little kitty cat knobs. So these don't have to, they don't have to cost a lot. No, and I feel like you've heard this tip a million times, but it really is, it makes such a difference. It's a, it, yeah. you know, it's, the it tip is shared for a reason. Yes. Making inexpensive furniture look really expensive and custom. Um, from kitchen cabinets to dressers in your bedroom to closets, like, any door that has a knob, yes. customize it. All of these tips, you're going to find it in this incredible book. Alexander, we're so proud of you. Thank and you, thank you so much for all of this information.